Oh, Cody said, it took me seven months, but I completed all the self-authoring suit in July. I'm still not motivated to do anything and waste all of my time. What do I do? Well, well, the first question is, is it true that you're not motivated to do anything? And is it true that you waste all of your time? It seems highly unlikely to me that both of those things are 100% true. So one of the things you might notice is, are there anything, is there anything that you're motivated to do? I presume you're motivated to eat, although perhaps not. And I'm not being smart about this. Um, partly what I would say is two things. You might need some smaller goals. Like you have to shrink your goals to the point where you've established uh, a plan forward that consists of steps that not only you would be willing to take, but that you would take. And so some of that's humility. It's like, man, I'm stuck. I can barely do anything. That's okay. Like, well, I'm, I'm laying in bed for seven hours a day. Well, could I lay in bed for six hours and six and a half hours tomorrow? You know, or while I'm in bed, could I do something somewhat useful? Could I read a book? Could I read one page of a book? Could I read a paragraph of a book? You have to find that those steps forward that you would take. I really think it's useful to make friends with something like a Google Calendar, you know, or whatever calendar program you might want to use and start designing days that you would like to have because that's the right way to use a calendar. And everyone out there that's listening, you should, you should use a calendar to structure your days. Because if you know what you're doing tomorrow, it decreases your anxiety substantially because you need that kind of structure. You, you need a pathway. You need to know, you need to have a map and you need to know where you're located on the map and you need to know how you're moving forward. And that gives you hope because you're moving towards goals that you regard as worthwhile. And it stops you from being anxious because you're not entirely directionless and lost. And so learning how to manage your time is useful and you can start with a calendar you can start with simple things like you can put in well when you're likely to go to bed and when you're likely to get up and and regulating that's useful that should be relatively ritualistically consistent it's very difficult to get your life in order if your sleep wake schedule is completely uh, random or if it's not aligned with like day and night and if it's not aligned with the normative practices of other people and so you may have to learn to get your sleep wake cycle regulated properly. And then the same with your eating schedule. Those are very basic things. And you can do that badly, but that's what you want to approximate. Three meals a day, let's say, because that's what people do normatively. And, um, and then you have to add small goals. Now, if that doesn't work, like if you can't make the goals small enough to achieve, you know, it might be that you're not being humble enough with regards to your conceptions of your own ability. But you can tell if the goal that you put forward is a reasonable one, if you're actually implementing it. Because if you're not, then by definition, it's not a reasonable goal. You know, like, let's say you're, you're sleeping all the time and your room is just a bloody, complete disaster. You know, and you think, well, I should clean up my room. It's like, well, maybe you can't. But maybe tomorrow you could hang up two shirts, you know, or you could... Or you could move two shirts from your bedroom to the laundry room. Or you could bag up a bag of dirty clothes that you could conceivably take to a laundromat. And you just do that one thing, you know. If you do, if your room's a catastrophe and you do that one thing and, and then you did one thing like that for 15 days or 20 days, maybe your place would be in order. And so the trick is to get the trajectory right. And Cody, if, you, if that doesn't work, then you're going to need to talk to somebody. You know, maybe you need a partner that 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 you can discuss these things with where you both have a commitment, like a mutual commitment to attaining a certain set of goals. You know, and that could be a friend. It could be somebody that you find online. It could be and it could be a professional. Um, but if you find that you yourself cannot, you just can't get this going, then you're going to have to reach out to someone else to give you a hand. Maybe you need to sit down with a parent or a friend or or somebody that you love and go over the self-authoring suite with them to go over the future authoring plans and to discuss how that might be implemented. You know, because if you can't do it on your own, then, and maybe you shouldn't have to, then you have to reach out to other people. And so make your goals smaller. 
see if you can make friends with a schedule or a calendar. This is really important to all of you out there who aren't doing this. Like I would say all of the people that I know who have become successful in any way use a structured means to organize their time. They have lists of things to do. Like they have every day, there's a list of things to do that day. Every week, there's a list of things to do that week. Every month, there's a list of things to do that month. You know, at every level of temporal resolution, there's a sequence of plans. And those plans are implemented on a day-to-day -day basis. You, you cannot be, and successful isn't the right way of thinking about it because I'm not thinking about, you know, I'm not really thinking about rising up the corporate ladder. You know, you know what I mean? And that's sort of what success has come to mean in our culture. That isn't what I mean. You can't have a life that you're going to find acceptable without that because you need the vision and the plans to give you purpose and direction. That's where all your positive emotion comes from. All your motivation is laying out plans that are worth attaining and then observing yourself moving towards them. That's the source of most positive meaning. And then also without that structure, you're so lost that you're gonna be anxious and overwhelmed. It's really like being in a foreign country, like isolated and alone with no map. I don't know where the hell I am. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. You know, the rains are going to come, the storms are going to come, and maybe it's winter. And I don't know where I am or where I'm going. And then the last thing, Cody, is like, rely on some other people, man. You know, maybe you'll be able to return the favor in, in the future. I know you'll feel bad maybe that you have to go to someone else. You'll feel weak and, you know, that you're taking advantage of them. But people like to be helpful. They really do. And, and so it's a mark of trust in someone and confidence in them that you would ask to have a serious conversation with them. And so... And if you don't have someone like that, then you need to find somebody like that. And maybe that means you have to interact more in online communities, or maybe you have to get the hell out there in the world. And there's lots of meetup groups and that sort of thing online that have organized themselves. And you can go there and hide in the back for a while, not talk to anybody. But you got to get it, I get the hell out there and, and, you know, make some social connections because you cannot live alone. We're social creatures. And you need help and maybe you'll be able to offer some help at some point in the future too.